odds, became an author and a championship boxer. Yeah, she wrote the book Being Too Fierce, and Lisa P. Cohen joins us now here live in studio. Welcome here to CT Style. Hi. Thanks for uh, Thank making you. the trip up here to CT. So, so tell us a little bit about your, your childhood. Oh, well, I grew up in Washington, D.C., and I my the book is about me growing up in foster care. Mm -hmm. So I grew up in 13 different foster homes. I went oh, through 13 difficult. different oh, placements, and Jeez. it was just, it was very difficult. But what the book is about is about overcoming the odds mm -hmm. and not becoming a victim of your circumstances. And, you know, and how were you able to do better. that? Um, I just had it. It was just, I guess it was just always in me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I just Well, you, somehow you turned decided, to boxing, right? Yeah. I mean, how does that well, fit into I the equation? I just decided that I wasn't going to be a victim. That's yeah. what it was. And, and, and you joined the Navy. Tell us about your experience there. I joined the Navy, and uh, my experience in the Navy was great. I got to travel the world. I had never been outside of the USA, and let alone my city, mm -hmm. pretty much, D the DMV, D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. So when I... Um, got old enough, I decided this is my this is going to be my emancipation out yeah. of care. Yeah. So I and, joined the Navy. And, and is that where you learned to, to throw a little uppercut? Or? <laughs> actually, actually, the, the the oddest thing because you know that that always comes up. Did you learn to box in the Navy? But I did start doing a little boxing, but there was no real program for women at the time, mm -hmm. and that was back in 1989. So I was like... So did you start when you were like 10 or something? I mean, I, I, I mean geez. <laughs> well, I started boxing when I was 28, professionally. Okay. Wow. Yes. Very good. And you have boxing. some championship titles. Like, yeah. we won't yeah, mess actually. with her. No. Can, can, can you show us a move? Can you show us how to throw the proper like punch? I, I don't know, just something. Maybe a little jab or a little uppercut or something. Well, on you? Well, well, not on me. I mean, I, I, preferably not, Lisa. That would be nice. I can nice, show you how you know. to hold your... Let me show you how to yeah, hold Yeah, hold you. us the right... Like, you're supposed to block okay. your face, okay. right? Yeah, you, you hold your, so oh, oh, should okay. I stand or? I just sit. Okay. sit right there. Sitting's fine. So you want to protect yourself and you protect your body. So you want to be at an angle. Okay. So instead of being completely squared we'll up, you want to be at an angle. There you go. You already have it, girl. I'm ready. There you go. That's because I had to sit you next to this guy. It. There you go. Like Mike Tyson. And okay. you want to, there you go. And so you protect it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Oh, yeah, this is John L. Sullivan. Have you, right? have you been in the ring lately, or are you? Still? I have not. Um, I uh, only get in the ring to work out, mm -hmm. fitness-wise, and to train other people, help got other it. people. With we it. should mention you're a mom too. You have two kids. I am. I have two grown-ups. Grown-ups. Yes, a 25-year-old son mm -hmm. and a 23-year-old daughter. Wow, and yep. I'm sure they are very proud of you and uh, the message in your book. Yeah, they are. My daughter went to, uh, she just graduated from Temple University nice. Great. Um, in May, and she is a social worker. She studied social work, so she wanted to get into the field because of my experience. That's great. And so I, I'm really proud of her. I also understand you did a little bit of stand-up comedy. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, I did. Wow, all right, interesting. So she's done boxing, stand-up yeah. comedy, that was the a, Navy, mom. The, the, the stand-up comedy was kind of like my husband, Neil, uh. thinks that I'm like really, really, really funny. <laughs> and so he kind of dared me. He says, I'll pay you. Oh. He says, I'll give you $500. You do 10 stand up comedy shows. Yeah. Shows. Yeah. And it was basically walk ons where I would go in and do, um, you know, the open mic night. Sure, sure. And I did it. I was like, hey. Well, don't dare nice. you, huh? You don't dare me. <laughs> Good for you. Doing big things. Make sure you guys check out the book, beingtofierce.com. Grab your copy. And I I'm still trying to do the math here. You, you look too darn good for your age. Just saying. Thank so you. thanks for coming on the show today. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's for boxing. Maybe Absolutely. we all should take a boxing. Maybe that's a secret here. I, I think that's it. All right, coming up, we're going to tell you about the top five.